Testing one, two, testing one, two. Can you see the screen and can you hear me? Okay, I will be right back, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to online Twitter chat world. I welcome the last people to join. Roberta and Lou just joined us. We want to thank each and every one of you for your time and your participation here today. We'll be starting promptly in just two minutes. Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish is here with us. We'll be starting <coughs> promptly in now just one minute. Welcome BC who just joined us. Again, this is online at Trader Central. Thank you everyone again and welcome.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's exactly 430 Eastern time here in the Boston area. Our time to begin. Welcome, people, Trent, Ben, Pam, B. Langdon, and others. This is Online Trader Central. Please put your hands together and welcome our host and presenter for today from the Soxwood.com. Please welcome. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you, Online Trader Central.com. Welcome. My name is Melissa Armel, and I own a company called the Stock Swoosh LLC. I'm here today to talk to you about a trading methodology that I personally do every day in the market. And it's a way that you can trade to make money in the market. And very quickly, by the way, a setup that happens in 30 minutes that you can make money profitably in the market, and quite a lot, meaning over six figures a year. So if you would like more information, you can go to my website. It's www.thestockswish.com. You can also email me at melissa at thestockswish.com as well. Kathy's going to put my information in there. If you have any questions after the webinar today, you can email me. I have a lot of videos up on YouTube as well. In fact, last night I, I put a trade up that I knew was going to happen and set up today and worked out beautifully. So you can check out my YouTube site and go to that as well. So welcome. Today we're going to talk about trading, one of my favorite topics in the world. And after we're done today, I'm going to do a live market review. So if you'd like to stay, after the one hour presentation, Kathy's going to take everybody over to my live trading room. We're going to review the market. I actually didn't look at the market since about lunchtime today. We'll take a look at where we closed today and we'll review it because the market was back and forth today. And I know a lot of people are anxious and wondering where is this market headed, what is it doing? So I thought it would be a good thing to discuss today after the webinar. The reason you're here is because you wanted to find out information about making money trading. Maybe it was because you wanted to find out about making six figures trading. Maybe it was just because of the fact that this strategy sets up quickly and you're a busy person. And if you're a busy person, and I'm a busy person, then time is important to you. In fact, time is money when you're busy. If you want to be financially secure, earning money is also something that's very important to you. And in today's day and age, it is extremely important to have financial security because you never know. You never know you may be working at a job for 10 years and all of a sudden the company goes bankrupt. You don't know if you're going to get a raise next year. You don't know if you do everything perfect in your job if you're going to be able to keep that job for the next 20 years until you retire. It's a very uncertain times that we live in. So we have to think ahead. We have to think ourselves forward. We have to take our own responsibilities to earning money to being financially secure. One of the other important things I think it's to think about today is that if you want to have a good quality of life, having free time is important. And if you are working two jobs, a full-time job, a part-time job, three part-time jobs, if you're working 50, 60 hours a week at your job, like I know some people are, and I used to in my mortgage job, you don't have a lot of free time. And the free time you do have outside of your job, you're exhausted. And you lay down at night and you fall asleep immediately because you're so tired from working hard all day and all week. So it's really important to have a good quality of life. And how do you do that? Well, making a good amount of money in a short period of time that will be able to sustain you. And if you want to have nice things, I, I like nice things, I enjoy nice things, then making good money is also important too so that you have the money to buy the things that you like. Going out to a nice dinner, buying nice clothing, being able to get a massage once in a while. It's nice to have nice things. So what ingredient do you need to be successful to make six figures a year trading? Well, whether your goal is full-time income, part-time income, savings, wealth, or retirement. Maybe you're looking to do this for retirement income because you don't have the same pension you thought you were going to at one time, or your 401k has dropped down a lot. Still in all, there is one common denominator and ingredient that is necessary for lasting success in the market. And the key there is lasting, and that's why I underlined it. Because a lot of people sometimes trade and they might get lucky. They might get one big trade, they may get lucky for a couple of weeks or one month or one big trade, but it doesn't last. And by lasting success, I mean something that works week after week, month after month, year after year, that you can duplicate. Every trader needs this, and every trader needs a strategy, and it has to be something that is lasting, that is real, that is good, that's reliable. It has to make sense. It has to be something that works under any market condition, whether the market is bullish, whether the market is bearish, whether the market is sideways. Uh, it has to be something that works irregardless of what's happening in the economy, because you need to be able to rely on it if it's going to be your full-time income or your savings, okay? 
So what strategy can you trade and make money in 30 minutes? It's gaps. And if any of you looked at my YouTube site prior to coming here today for the new people, you could see I was doing gaps as a strategy. We're going to talk about this some more today. Gaps are a strategy that's set up in the market on a daily basis. Every day there's gaps. They provide moves that happen very quickly in the morning. And not only that, they usually finish quickly as well. Many gap trades set up and are done in the first hour of the trading day. You can usually get 75% and this is true, of the full day's move of a stock in the first 30 minutes between 9.30 and 10. That's unbelievable almost, but it's true. Gaps happen on a regular basis, and they happen with momentum. And this momentum provides the opportunity to trade to make six figures a year in profits, and, and more than that, okay? But I know a lot of people are here because they really want to be able to make 100 grand a year trading. The fact is, if you can make 100 grand in trading uh, this year, next year you're going to make 250, and so on and so forth. And that's how you make it happen. In fact, I was talking to a student last night, Surf Dog, who's already done my class, and he's doing very well since he did the class two months ago. And we talked about what he's on pace now to do this year. And he's thrilled because he knows if he keeps up that pace, he's going to move momentum quickly to be doubling that in the next year. And so on and so forth. And that's the great thing about trading once you get good. So what is a gap? A stock gaps. And I'm going to show you some charts, some examples, when the opening price today at 9.30 Eastern Time, because that's when the market opens, is different from the closing price of the previous day's trading, which would be 4 o'clock Eastern Time. A gap is a break in the price action from one day to the next. Simple. That's really all that a gap is. Now we're going to look at this here. This was a gap today. This is one that I did. It was Fossil. F-O-S-L. And this is the gap. So what happened here? Last night, it was Tuesday, this stock closed up here at this number. It was approximately 111 something and change where it closed at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. And then this morning, the stock opened at 9.30 Eastern Time. Today is Wednesday. And it opened down here approximately 104-ish. So you see the stock actually lost this much value overnight. That's a lot. Okay? That's $7 plus that it lost overnight in the gap. So the price, closing price here the day before and the opening price today was different. And that's all the gap is. And you see the move that this had in the day. And we're going to talk about this in a little bit. So why do gaps work so fast? Gaps work fast because there's a sense of urgency that's created in the gap. There's a sense of urgency. That stock, Fossil, closed last night at $111 strike price and change. And the sense of urgency is that this morning at 9.30, literally overnight, the stock broke and fell off a planet and opened at 104. That's panic, okay, because this was a short. The stock lost value. It's a red bar. So it's a panic effect for shorts. For longs, if you're looking to do a bullish gap, it's similar in that there's a sense of urgency, but it's a different kind of sense of urgency. It's, oh, I better buy it now. Oh my gosh, I better buy this now. Should I buy it now? I better buy it now. I better buy it now or I'll miss it. Yeah, I better buy it. Should I buy it? Should I buy Facebook? Wait, should I get it? No, I better buy it. I better buy it now before it gets any higher. It's an emergency effect for longs. Like, if you don't get it, you're going to miss it kind of thing. Okay? It's different, but same. Same concept, sense of urgency, but different. Okay? Either way, something has to be done, and it has to be done now. Now in the opening of the gap, in the opening of the price of the stock on the day when it gaps. And that is how people think of it. It's all about people, money and people. That's the market. What are people doing? Are they buying? Are they selling? What are they doing? How can we make money, people think? People think, crap, I'm down. Or I better buy this. If I don't buy it now, I'm going to miss it. And then you know what? Sometimes, too, sometimes people buy too soon. Okay? It's how people feel and how they think and their reaction to the price gap that makes it go fast into the open. Okay? And this is why gaps work. So how do they work? Gaps work because institutions, institutional money, hedge funds, banks, they take positions in stocks, in or out, buying or selling. Institutional money makes gaps, and that is how the gap is created in the first place. Because it's not a couple of people, it's not you or me or all of us together that could make Fossil go from 111 down to 104 overnight. That's an institutional selling that happened into that stock. And that is also why they work so big in the day. Institutions are moving their money in and out, buying, selling, shorting. They're moving the money in and out of stocks in a big way on the day of the gap. And that's why there's so much uh, value in understanding how to trade gaps because 
the biggest moves that stocks ever have in their life on a chart are always the day of the gap. If you pick up, you could pick any chart on the planet. You could email it to me. You could look at anything in the world. Every large bar, bullish or bearish, is always in a gap. So let's talk about the concept of shorting. Shorting for fast moves. This is just something that I like to do. I prefer to short, and here's why. Because of the panic. Here was the first 15-minute bar in the day of the fossil. Okay, this is a 15-minute chart. This is a 15-minute bar. Look at this. So up here is the high is 104.50. <coughs> Excuse me. Down here at the low is 101.61. This all happened in 15 minutes. Look. So in 15 minutes, that stock dropped $3. That's a big move. And it happens fast. And it happens fast because it's a gap, and it was a good gap, and it also was to the downside because this concept of shorting means people are panicking, and you want to get in before all the people sell out. And there it goes. Now, I want you to take notice of something. I didn't see how this closed at 4 o'clock. But this low here around 101.61 that was set by 9.45 was close to near the low of the day. The stock did go a teeny, weeny little bit more down. But this was very close to what the low of the stock was in the day. And it set it in the first 15 minutes. So that you can see here, this is way more than 75% of the move. This is actually like 85, 90% of the move the stock had in the day that happened the first 15 minutes. And if you play this, that's all you need to do. Boom. And you go on with your life. So what does it mean to short? When you short, you are buying the stock from the broker, wherever you're trading, at a price higher than where you expect the price to go. Mr. Broker, I want to borrow this stock. I want to get this fossil. I've got to get this thing. Give it to me here. Give it to me at 104 because I think it's going to go to 100, 101, wherever it goes. You are anticipating that the stock will move lower and then the current price it is at. So you borrow it and you short it. For example, you might get in at $9 because you think it will move to 8 and if you shorted at nine and it moves to eight, you cover the short and you would have made a dollar. And that's how shorts work. And I'm talking about this today because I've talked to so many people now and I'm just ever amazed how people don't understand the concept of shorting, but it's very simple. And it's actually terrific because of the panic that comes into shorts so quickly. For example, if you had 5,000 shares and the stock moved a dollar lower from a $9 short price, then you would make $5,000 in profit. If you shorted a stock at nine and exited at eight, and you have 5,000 shares, that's five grand in profit. And you certainly can do that. Stocks move like that all the time, even at that price point. It's the panic that equals the fast cash because people are forced to take an action. They have to do something. It's required. And as the day goes on, sometimes it comes even more panicky. And you see this in stocks that continue. Here's an example of panic. This is Amazon. This is back from the end of April. Amazon gap down. This is a one-minute chart on Amazon. I'm not going to go over today what a, a swoosh is in full on, but this actually opened and swooshed, and it's a play that I do in the market, and it's the reason I named my company the stock swoosh. So Amazon swooshed here. This was back in a gap. The stock gap that closed the night before appeared at 336 and change and opened the next morning down here around 316-ish. The first bar of the day, this is the first bar, this is 60 seconds. The stock, the high of this bar is 316.09 and the low here is 309. The stock dropped like a banshee, $7 in 60 seconds. That is panic. That's panic, okay? And this happened in a gap. And if you play the stock, Look what this thing did on the day, okay? Actually went all the way down to 302 on the day on this day of the gap. So here you can see. And you don't even need one of these things every day. I mean, you could get them every day, and particularly during earnings season, which is happening right now, but you only need like two or three of these a week to get moves like this to get paid. So gaps are a strategy that focuses on maximizing panic activity. That's the truth. I mean, that's what it is. People don't know what to do. <gasps> Crap, should I sell it? Should I buy it? Should I short it? What should I do? I don't know what to do. Help me. And that's what happens. And that's what happens in the gaps. And if you understand that as a person, intellectually and comprehend it and get it, you can take advantage of that as a trader. And that gives me an edge when I trade. And that's what I'm teaching people how to do. And you need an edge to trade to make money in the market. you got to see things before they happen. Because if you don't see them before they happen, you'll never get it. You'll never get it. I saw T2, which I did today, uh, before the, it even opened this morning. I saw it last night. I knew it was going to work. Boom. Okay? I saw it before it happened. And it did it. 
I see things before they happen. How can I do that? Because I'm reading the gap. If you don't have a strategy, if you have no strategy when you trade, then you don't have any consistency. And every day you look at something and you don't know what to do with it and you're kind of trading with the market and you're back and forth. And your P&L will show the back and forth of it too. Amazon here on this day, here was the day of this beautiful gap. Right in here, this was the 25th. Had a nice follow through the second day down. You could have done Amazon here and here. It actually gapped two days in a row. Now, would you have done anything with Amazon here? or here, or here, or anywhere in here, would you have done anything with this? No, there's nothing to do. There's no strategy in here at all on the, any of these days. There's nothing going on in here. This you play, boom, you do it, you hit it, you get it. And this one here too, boom, you could have done that one too. There's nothing else to do in here. And if you look at 200 trading days of a year of a stock, there's really nothing to do many of the days. Sounds crazy, but it's true. And people are constantly looking for things to do. They want to trend trade. They want to trade with the market. They want to look for stuff to do here in Amazon. They want to think this is going to rally back or do something. There's no clean trade in here with any level of consistency that you can take the trade, put the stop at the right place, and get a move and know the target or anything. This is a down. This is going down. The direction is down. You can't buy it. The trade is here, and the trade is here. There's nothing else to do right now. And you look for these in different stock symbols every day. Because many, many, many days, there's nothing to do on any given stock. You look for gaps, and they're different, and they set up differently on each day. So $100,000 a year is very realistic in the market. It's about consistency, though, in the strategy and sticking to the game plan and doing what you're supposed to do. Instead of trying to make something out of nothing on days where the stock isn't really doing anything where you should even trade it. And it's not about rolling the dice or playing the odds. I was speaking to someone yesterday that was talking about taking five trades and divvying up the risk and taking five trades every day. It's like throwing darts at a board. I don't throw darts at a board. Anyone that's ever spent even a 30 minutes trading with me in my trading room knows that I don't throw darts ever. I am trying to get it exactly. Boom. One shot. It. Do it. It's not about rolling the dice. It's not about gambling. It's about having a very, very, very strategic way to take a train and something that you're looking at doing and having 100% conviction to do it. You have to risk manage yourself by deciding what you want to risk so you can divvy up as many trades as you want in a day. But if you're taking three, four, five, six trades in a day and divvying up your risk because you're throwing darts at a board to play the odds, that isn't how you become successful at trading. The people that are successful in the market are playing the odds. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly why they're doing it. Either it works or it doesn't, but they know why they're doing it and they're not playing any odds. It's not about percentages. It's about trying to be as exact and detailed as you can. And once in a while, it doesn't work. And most of the time, it does. If you're playing the odds, your P&L is going to show that varying type of uh, money in your account. And you'll never get where you want to be with making the kind of money that you could in the market, like making six figures a year. So what is it about gaps that makes them so profitable? We've been talking about the moves. It's also the risk to reward. It's the risk to reward and the fast setups. Because if you get a setup very quickly, right away, into the open, in these stocks, Amazon, Fossil, any of them, and you take them, you're getting in these early before all of that red happens, before they drop off a planet. So the risk to reward is great because you're getting in quickly. You're getting in fast. The setups happen fast. And then you're getting the move fast, too. It has to do with having a plan of action. What are you going to do? How are you going to get there? How are you going to make the money? In order to make six figures a year, you need a plan. You have to have a plan. Otherwise, what, how are you going to do it? The plan is that I'm going to take five trades every day of my life. That's not the plan. You need a real serious strategic plan. You need a plan of action in place in order to be successful trading. It's like if you would go into a bank and want to get a business loan. They'd say to you, I need your business plan. Give me your business plan. How are you going to make this much money? If I give you this much money to borrow, how are you going to pay me back? Banks want to know that all the time. It's just like if you went to someone and they wanted to hire you as a trader. Yeah, I have to say, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do it? How much are you going to risk? How are you going to make it? What are you going to do? How many trades are you going to take? And why are you going to do them? And you need to know. It's just like if you were going to work for someone, but you're working for yourself. But you have to take it just that seriously. So you need a proven strategy and a system that works in order to make money trading. And you absolutely must follow this plan to achieve success. And I'm very good at doing this. I'm very strict with myself, and it works. So why do people fail? Why do people fail? Why is it that people sometimes look at trading as gambling? Why do they lose money at all? 
Number one, they have no plan of action. Number two, they have no focus. Number three, they have no strategy. No strategy at all. They don't know why they're trading uh, Amazon today or tomorrow. They have no idea why they're doing it at all, but they're doing it. They have no mentor. This is another very important factor because if you are trading by yourself and don't have a mentor, someone you can go to like me and ask questions, you're kind of hanging out in the wind. And you do need a person that you can go to when you're learning how to trade to ask questions to and get a direct answer. And number five, and which is also not the last, but the first and the number one reason why people lose money in the market, is that they do not have a system in place that works. They just don't. They don't have any system at all. They don't have one that works. They do not have a system that is specific enough, specialized enough, detailed enough, focused enough, and meaningful enough to the real trend of a stock. Because the only way you're going to make money in the market is if you're in something in the right direction. If you go to buy Fossil today on a gap down, you will lose. You'll never make money. The stock didn't rally at all in the day. It was a short. So you have to get in the trend of the stock correctly, whether long or short. And you're doing that based on the quality of the gap that's being made by institutional money. So I teach a class on how to trade gaps. That's what I teach in the two-day class. It's only a two-day class. And in that two days, you learn how to trade professional bearish gaps. It is a course that's designed to help you strategically. And that's the key word there. Find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Now, I like the downside. I like the downside because I like the panic that comes in quickly to stocks and people when they're long stocks and they gap down. You can take my class and flip the points to go bullish, to buy uh, bullish gaps. You can do that. Some people do that. But I like the downside. How do I do it? How did I know T2 would work today? How did I know FASA would work today? I have a strategic way to figure it out. I have a system. It's a checklist. I look at 26 things in the daily chart of a stock to determine if it's good or not. I looked at 26 things in Fossil Today and T2 to determine if they were going to work. The funny thing is, and I put a video on YouTube, you can watch it after we're done here. Someone in the room said today, Kramer is calling T2 as a long. And they were concerned he was on TV. And I rated the gap. And the gap rated per my system as a short. And I said, we're doing it. I don't, I don't care what Kramer says. And T2 fell off the planet today. Went to a dream target, and I was right, and Kramer wasn't. How did I know that? How did I know that? How did I know I was going to do that? Because I have a method that strategically works, that looks at 26 things on the daily chart of a stock to analyze the price, to determine if selling is going to come into that stock. And even with someone like Kramer, who's a famous person that gets on television where billions of people are watching it, it doesn't even matter the stock roll over on the day. And why? Because institutions wanted to sell out of that stock and they didn't care what Kramer says because they're not listening to Kramer. They're making decisions what they are doing with their money. These hedge funds that have millions of billions of billions of dollars are not listening to Kramer. If you want to listen to somebody, you got to listen to the institutions. And how do you do that? Because they're not talking to you and you don't know their phone number. You see what is happening in the price of the stock in the gap to see what those people are doing. It's a hidden gem to figure this out, to see it the way that I do before they actually do it. If you want to listen to jibber jabber online and other places, you're going to miss the boat. There's no other way to make money in the market other than this. Someone asked me the other day about other strategies. I said, if you want me to be honest with you, you want me to lie. I said, I'll tell you right now as a day trader, which is a tough, tough, tough business, there's only one way to make money trading gaps. Many people don't understand it. They don't get it. They do not know how to do them. It took me three years of my life to figure this out, and it works. I hardly ever get it wrong. You can ask anyone that knows me and is trading with me. So it was one of these things that happened today, and I think people in the room that took that T2 were concerned because we talked about it with Kramer, and I said it out loud what the lady said in the room, but the fact is it worked. Okay, it was a short. So why trade gaps? Stocks that gap have big moves on the day. Number one, big moves. That's how you get paid. Stocks that gap usually have their moves within the first 30 minutes of the trading day. Once again, quick, 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 quick. Stocks that gap have huge moves with small stops, which means you can make more money with less risk. And we're going to look at some examples in a minute. And stocks that gap have a chart precision, and this is the key, that is very unique in the market. This precision 
will help you stay consistent so you can achieve your goal of making six figures a year trading if that's what you want to do. Maybe you want to make more than that. Maybe you want to make less. Some people have huge goals and some people are very realistic. I think you have to look at yourself and look at your expenses and look at how much money you have to trade. And I think you have to be somewhat realistic, somewhere between what your dream is and how much money you have and what you're trying to accomplish in a reasonable time frame and figure it out. Can you get there to make six figures a year? Yes. Could you get there in a week? Probably not. Not unless you have a lot of money. Could you get there in six months and 12 months? Probably yes. Trading gaps. And you don't need millions of dollars. You have to learn how to do it. There's, it's just invaluable to understand this. People say, is it hard to trade? Is it take too long to analyze the gaps? And I say, no. All I did was look at T2 last night. And because I live and breathe charts, I knew it would work. Now, I still get up and rate the gap. I still go through my process. I follow my system, and I'm very strict. But I have an eye now, a trained eye, that I could read something in my sleep. And one of the days, it was last week or something, I couldn't even see the candlesticks. I couldn't see the candlesticks. And the thing was going. And I just said, take it here and put the numbers here because I had the numbers memorized in my head. You have to learn how to read price. If you're living and dying by Fibonacci's and moving averages and all this other stuff that everybody has in the world, you're, you're, you're going to miss the boat. All that matters is what that price is doing. If you get in here and you get out here, you can make money. If you get in here and it's wrong and you get out here and it's wrong, you're going to lose. Simple. You can book money in 30 minutes or less in fast gap moves. You can do it. So you don't need 100 strategies. You don't need 100. You don't need a million. You don't, need, you don't even need three. You do not need 100 strategies in place to make money in the market. You need one strategy in one play, which works. And you can even do it in one direction. If you can combine one strategy and one play and do them extremely well, you can make six figures a year trading. You can do it and in a reasonable time frame. So let's go over some examples. How to make money fast in the morning? Gaps. Golden gaps. And that's what I named my system. Let's look at it here. This is GoGo. Go, go, which is still weak as all get out. This happened back here at the end of April. Here's the gap. Okay. Here's this one here. And look at the follow through that happened after the fact. So sometimes you can do swing trades in these. Now, I'm doing the day trades, but you can do swing trades in these sometimes. This was a good, good gap. It was a weak stock and it fell off a planet after the gap. Do you see here, if you don't know what to do with this, you might think, well, it's going to fill the gap or something. No, this thing couldn't even rally to save its life. And look how it broke after the gap. The day before the gap, the stock was up here at 1850 something. Now it's down here and over the day of the gap at 15 something. And then within a week's time, it broke 12. That is weakness. That's institutional selling. So here was the move in the go-go. Again, open right here, 930, 931, 932. Boom, you're into it. No hesitation, no waiting, nothing at all. How do you know you can do it? How can you take the train? How do you know you could short go go right here and that it was going to do anything remotely like this, although this was much better than even expected? You knew you could because you looked at the gap and you rated this gap. This thing didn't even open yet. You get up in the morning, you look at the stock price, you look at the price in the morning or your level two. You look at it and you see, hmm, this thing is at 1550 ish or 1560 or 1575. Five. And then you go here, see where it closed last night, and you go through the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You go through them, and you rate it. And there, lo and behold, the stock rates according to the system, 20 points or more, and Google opens up, and you go for the go-go, and you take it, and you short it, and the stock dropped more than a dollar. The entry price was 933. 1519 was the entry. Stop over 1550. Again, this is an advanced risk. This is an advanced. You could divvy it up, okay, if you don't want to take this much per trade. But 2,000 shares was $620. Exits, 14 bucks. It actually broke 14. It booped down to 1390 something. Total profit, 2380. Risk to reward is 3.8 times the amount risk was made in profit. What has opened? Mr. Langdon has a question. Is it about the go-go slide? Can you see me? Or are you talking about the go-go? Has it opened? This trade happened in nine minutes, okay? So you could have made $2,300 in nine minutes. That's a very good living, and you get on with your day. Has it opened? Yes, it's opened. This is open, okay? You have to, I don't, I don't take pre-market trades, if that's what you mean. I'm waiting till at least the open, okay? So the bonus to this strategy is it sets up Right aways and works like the go go, 
Or what if it wouldn't have worked? I mean, what if GoGo wouldn't have worked? If it wouldn't have worked, it would have failed immediately. That I can tell you. Setups work in the first 30 minutes of the day. They either set up or they fail. So you're not even wasting a lot of time suffering, 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 down the train, waiting for hours. No. Either sets up goes and works or it doesn't. Either way, you see right into the open how the price is trading to know whether it will work or not. Conceptually, you're seeing, you're seeing, ooh, there's a weakness in the go-go. And you do it. Within the first half hour of the day, watching the stock trade, you will see it set up. Or it won't set up. It, it, sometimes they don't set up. And then, then obviously you don't do anything. And this is why I'm not in the stock before it sets up. Okay? But if it fails, you don't take the trade. Well, then you don't take it. You won't waste your time. You don't waste your time with gaps. Another great thing. Again, get on with your life. Do other things. Go to your other job. Go take care of your kids. You're not going to waste a lot of time. They're going to set up and go and you're going to be up. Or they're not going to set up at all. And then you see it and you don't do them. Or they set up and if they fail, they fail right away as you're out. Okay? The time commitment is focused on that first 30 minutes of the trading day. It's so key. It's into the open there, that opening part of the day. That is such a challenging time of the day for people to read. And that's, that's, that's how I can do everything I can do. I couldn't even read anything as well as I could if I didn't have that time period. That time period, is so, I can read that so, so well, better than any person that I know. That tells me everything. All, everything is there. I go back, I look at this, I see this, I say, oh, look at that go-go. That thing just opened and fell off the planet. That stock is so, 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 so weak. The stock closed the night before at 1840 and opened down here the next day at 1550. The stock got down $3. It opened and it can't get a breath of life. That stock is weak. It's going to get sold off. They're dumping it. They're dumping go-go, go-go-go, and it gets dumped in the open. This part of the day tells me everything I need to know about what this stock's going to do. Not only today, but then sometimes continue. Situations. If you had a job and you work for someone, you'd never make this much money per hour. $2,300 for how many hours of work? One hour prep, you're in, you're organizing yourself, you're scanning, you're reading the gaps. Nine minutes in the train and then to sit? What kind of job pays $1,000 an hour pay rate? Very few. You Either you work for a hedge fund, you're a CEO, you're a partner in a law firm. You can't even make this much money if you're actually an attorney. You have to be a partner where you're making a couple million. This is like two, two million dollars a year or more. Specialized physicians, okay? Specialized physicians specialize. Regular doctors don't even make this much money. There's very few people on the planet that make the kind of money that you can make in the stock market. And this is why everybody wants to do it, okay? It, the only thing is you need to learn how. Everyone wants to do it, but people don't want to take the time and commitment to learn how. It takes you a little bit of time out of your life in the course of your whole lifetime. It takes you a week, a month, one class, a, a, a six months to get to the point where you're making 100 grand a year. I mean, people have to get real. This is such a small, small thing to get that could completely change your life. It has completely changed my life. My life will never be the same again because I know how to trade money in the market. It'll never be the same again. And I'll never live without the market. I'll never never not be a trader. Here's another gap. This I clipped. This is actually from just a couple days ago, last week, but actually it's continued here down now even today. This is WFM. Uh, Nick has a question here. I'll just ask this quickly. Do you mean percentage of your account? He's saying, which money management rules do you use to make six figures? Do you mean percentage of risk of your account on the train on the day? What are you, where are you getting the 2%, the 5%? Do you mean percentage of risk of the account per trade, per day? What do you mean? What do you want to do with that? If you're risking, if you have $10,000 in your account, say you have a proprietary day trading account, you have $10,000 in it, for example. Risking 5% is a lot. If you have $25,000 in your account, Risking 5% is a little bit better. Do you see the difference? It's, it, it depends how much money you have. I think you, the less you have, the more conservative you want to be. You should be, if you want me to be honest with you. The less money that you have, the more conservative you, could, you should be. And you know what's funny? I'll tell you this right now before I go on. The more money I make, guess what? I'm being more conservative. Isn't that crazy? And the more money that I make, the less trades I'm taking. I could take more. I give myself more. I could take more now and risk more than I did six months ago last year, and I'm being more conservative. Isn't it funny? When I was young and started out and was doing this six years ago, I was a huge risk taker and just was swinging a big bat. 
And I did have a, I did have a lot of money when I started. I did. But the fact is that, you know, I, I, I should not have risked that much in the beginning because I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. I should have been more conservative. You have all the time in the world to actually make all the money in the world once you know what you're doing. And the funny thing is I could take more risks right now than I am. And I'm not. I'm probably going to start taking more soon. I'm not yet. Okay. But the thing is that I'm not taking that many trades and I could take more. Maybe I do two a day. Maybe I only do one. I usually don't do more than two. Three is a lot for me. You'll find that the better you do, the less you want to, the less you want to trade. You don't want to overtrade. The commissions start to add up. It starts to be to the point where you're like, I'm happy. I'll take it. Give it to me, market. And then you're not greedy. The when you don't have a lot, here, I'll just say this. I don't want to get too off course here. When you don't have a lot, you tend to lean on the side of neediness and greed. When you have a lot and you feel safe and protected and glorious about your life in the universe, that everything's coming to you, you don't feel greedy and you don't feel needy. I'm in a position in my life right now where I don't feel greedy and I don't feel needy. You know, when, you, when you're trying to make it and you've lost money trying to make it and you've lost money in classes and you haven't figured it out and you've given money to the market that you worked hard for and whatever reason, you gave it to the market because you were doing trades, you didn't know what to do, you took another class, it didn't work out, that person didn't know what they were doing, whatever the reason is. Now, here you are, you meet me. It, you, you can't be needy. I, I, it's hard, okay? Go see a therapist. This is what I'm telling people. You got to work through that. The greediness, the neediness, the market smells it. It smells it like a dead animal. It doesn't want to be friends with you then. I'm telling you, when you get to a place where you're friends with the market, it gives it to you. It just gives it to you. It just gives you the gaps. It gives you the sets up. It gives you the information. It gives it to you so easily. You don't have to fight with it. Don't fight with the market. It's your friend. The market is your friend. Do not look at the market as an enemy. The market is your friend. What was on February 13th? The gap on the left of the chart would have failed, correct? As price was going back up, just a question. February 13th, are you talking about WFM? This gap worked as a short. You shorted this as a day trade, boom. Stock went down here. This didn't fail. This was a short. This is a daily chart. I think it does matter, but that's your, but see, see, this is where money manages your personal decision. If you think it doesn't matter how much you risk, depending on how much money you have, then that's your decision. That's your money management. That's your decision, okay? It's up to you, okay? You can decide that for yourself. You're the one that makes a decision how much you want to risk. Some people want to be conservative. Some people want to be aggressive. If you have the money to trade, do it. Do it, risk what you feel comfortable with, and money manage yourself correctly. Every trade has to be approximately the same risk. That cannot waver, okay? And you need to stick to your targets and your money management rules on the day. You're not going to lose more than this much on any given day or week. And you're not going, and you're going to stop when you're up and you've met your goals and the trade is done. You're not going to give that money back to the market that you've made profitably. So if you're willing to risk 5% and you've got 250 grand, go for it. You have to be happy and accept that and want to do it. It's up to you. Okay. I'm, I'm giving people guidelines. I'm not telling you what to do with your money. I'm telling you how to trade. Um, Lou, you have to go to a proprietary day trading account if you have less than 25000 And I can refer you to some places. But that, you know, look, in, look online yourself. There's lots and lots and lots of places you can go and uh, look into it if you don't have enough money for a retail account. And actually, you could open up a retail account, but then you're going to be restricted with the number of trades you take. You just can't take actively trades every day. We talked about this the last time. I forget how many you can take a week or something. I don't remember if it's three or five or I don't remember. But you can, there's ways. You can do it, okay? So let's look here at the WFM. Just got off target there a little bit, but good questions. Feel free to keep asking me the questions. WFM was <laughs> such a great gap. It closed up here the night before. At 48 something, open down here at 39 something, and the stock set up right here. This was one of the most aggressive trades I've done in the last couple of weeks. And I talked about it in the morning. Let's look at the gap here as a daily chart. The stock closed up here at 48, open the next day around 39 something. We talked about it in the room, and I said, This is institutions selling the stock, and hardly any traders are going to do this today. Why? It's cra crazy, gutsy trade. 
Very gutsy trade. Stock gap's down $10 overnight. Everybody thinks it's going to fill the gap. Nobody wants to short this, and nobody believes it lower, and I rate the gap. It goes with my system, and I shorted it here. This was, it ran $2. So, you know, this was institutional selling. Traders did not do this gap. This is not being sold off by traders. It's institutions. That's what made the gap in the first place, and it continued it down, and it was a great, great, great trade. Entry time was 9.33. Price was 38.97. Stop over 39.20. That's a great stop. 23 cents on WFM. That's a gift from the market. You could have taken 2,600 shares. Approximate risk 600. Exit 37.35. This ended up being the low. The day didn't go to 37. That was a dream target. You could have made over $4,000 in 30 minutes. 42.12. Advanced risk. If you split this in half and risk 300, you could have made over 2,100. Still terrific money. The risk you reward is seven. That means for every dollar you made seven. Oh, there it is. Trader XYZ said three days and three day trades in five days. Can you use this with into ETFs? Yes. Can you use this with currencies? You can use it with everything you said in there, Nate, except for the currencies. I, I don't know. I don't trade currencies, and I never, ever did. But I'll tell you one thing. They're a 24-hour market except for Sunday, so they don't have any gaps except for that one day. So there you go. You would have to try it. You'd have to have the gap. You'd have to try it the day of the gap. Now, that being said... You could read the gaps that happen once a week in currencies, and you could determine overall directional trends to play them in the days in between in the week to play the trends right. You could do that. You'd read the gaps, even if you only had one gap a week in the stocks or the currencies that you would be trading, you could read the overall trends better if you understood conceptually gaps and you rated the gaps that happened even though you'd only have them once a week. Uh, I've had a bunch of people take my class with Futures, Lou. I can refer you to those people. Email me. I'll give you those people's names because I never did it with Futures. I'm not doing anything but day trading. I'm just straight out day trading the stock. I've had people take my class. They're doing everything. Futures, options, all the gamut. And nobody's done it yet for the currencies. Somebody's going to sometime because people keep asking me. Somebody's going to do it. So I can refer you to people that are doing these other things. Just email me. Okay, let me go to where we were here. So rate per hour WFM. Again, crazy good. You don't even need to do anything else the rest of the week. If you make four thousand dollars in a week in one trade, you're making sixteen grand a month. Now, are you gonna get that every trade? No, no, you're not. But you will get it in trades. You will get it in trades. You will get a trade like this and a great gap like this that you hit it out of the gate and the stock rolls over and falls off a planet. Why? Institutional selling. Institutional selling into the gap. Pure hard selling that happens for no other reason other than the fact that people that are long the stock. Hedge funds, banks, and whoever else in the world don't, don't want to be in it anymore. It's the panic, the panic. Is this panic? This is panic. If you were long WFM, if you own the stock, if you bought it into this rally here, somebody's just asked me about this. What if you bought it here? What if you bought it here? You bought it at 55 or 54, and you were like down a little bit here and down a little bit here and down a little bit here, and you were like, I'm just going to get it back. I'm just going to get it back. I'm just going to get it back to the break even. As soon as it gets, I'm going to, uh, and you get up the next morning, look at that. It was a terrible trade to go along this anyways, but this is what people do. This is what people do. They do it. That's how you're able to do it and read the people and make money. So who is a system for? Anyone. You don't have to have any experience trading. You can learn my class and take my class. You don't have to be any certain age. You can be from any walk of life. you got to be able to afford the class and afford to trade. And actually, it's more important to take the class and learn how to do it than anything else. The system's for anyone. Anyone that actually is what I call an entrepreneur. Someone that actually wants to do something with their life for themselves. Someone that wants to set their own course. Someone that actually wants to be successful. Someone that wants to do something that they care about, that's exciting to them, that's passionate. I am very, very passionate about training the market. I am very passionate about making money. It's a tie now. It's a tie between training and money. Used to be when I first started out that I wanted the money badly. And then that overshadowed my ability to be able to trade well. Then I came back to a sense of balance where now all of it comes together and it meshes very well and I'm in a state of balance with the money and trading. You have to be in a state of balance. If you're not in a state of balance where you're too focused on the money, you're not going to make the right decisions about trading. you got to get yourself back into balance so that you can be successful make money, money trading. And I find that having a system, which is what I teach people in the class, helps them get back into balance because I'm saying, look at this. Focus on this. It gives them their eye and their brain something to do in the morning instead of going haywire with money. So to make six figures a year, 
you need a complete system. What is necessary for a complete trading system? The following components, specifically and in their entirety. Number one, a strategy. Number two, a play. Number three, a concept to give you an edge. And, and for me, actually, I actually have a lot of things that give me an edge. Gaps give me an edge because most people do them wrong or don't do them at all. I'm playing with institutional money, the directions of the institutions, that gives me an edge. I'm shorting. I don't do longs. I only do the shorts. I might do a long once a year. And I sometimes call longs, but I short. That gives me an edge. I'm aggressive. I'm trading in the beginning part of the day. That gives me an edge. Okay? I teach the calculations of the targets in the class, Nick. In the gap class, I teach that. I teach the entries. I teach the exits. I teach the targets. I teach the plays. I teach the stop swoosh, which is the play in the market. So the class is called the Golden Gap, the Golden Gap System. It is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. That's how I knew to do T2, Fossil today, the WFM, knew that GoGo was good. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which stock that is gapping to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist is invaluable. This is what you're paying for when you're taking the class. To learn this information so you know what direction to trade the stock. Do I short it? Do I buy it? Where do I get in? Where do I get out? Should I do anything with today? Should I listen to Kramer? Should I listen to Kramer and buy T2 or should I rate the gap? Hmm, what should I do? I think I'll follow Melissa today. <gasps> ah, I just made money. Okay? You have to have a system and you got to follow it. And you can't let anything like a television show or anything else set you off course. Making money in the market is addictive. It's absolutely addictive. It's addictive. It's like eating chocolate, okay? Making money fast is addictive. I'm in a space where I love to make money as soon as I can in the morning, and I really just get addicted to doing that. As soon as you take the trading, you're up and you're up this kind of money. It's addictive. You'll want to trade. You'll be in love with the market. You'll be passionate about trading. You'll love gaps. You won't trade any other way. You won't feel like you need to. Everyone that's asking me about doing options and futures and everything else, do you know that people come in and take my class and have that in their head, that they're going to do that? And then all of a sudden, they start trading the equity, the straight out equity, just like me with the share size to get the moves. And then they're like, oh, woo, and then they're doing exactly what I'm doing because it's working and then they're up and then they want to do it. It's addictive. It's like chocolate. The power of the gap to make six figures a year is real. And I'm going to just touch on one thing here for those of you that like to swing trade. The class teaches a 26-point gap rating system to day trade. However, the system can also be used for swing and core trading these stocks for even bigger moves. These moves can continue for three to five days, three to five months, or three to five years. I've seen it. Taking trades and making investments for the long term can help you save for your future. So you can do lots of things with it. Cree is on the move. I did create a day trade. This is going, people. This is broken. The chart is in a downtrend. The chart is broken. Cree, the entry for the swing trade was back on the gap. For a core trade, was back there. Uh, you, we put the stop over the high of the gap. You can take it. Cree is lower. Cree is an actual core swing short. It's real. Uh, I don't know if it can be programmed. I have no idea. Nick. Nobody ever asked me that before. Uh, I don't know. You could try if you want to do it. Uh, Melissa, can you look at Zizu and see why the gap down didn't work? Yeah, let's look at that when we look at the market, Trader XYZ. I didn't like that today, though. I don't remember why, but I didn't, I didn't like it. I saw it. Are rich people successful because they just work really hard? No, no, they're not. I'm sure a lot of you work hard at your jobs. A lot of, a lot of people are actually hardworking people, okay? Some people are lazy, but a lot of people are actually hardworking, okay? And they're not rich. And it gets frustrating. And they come home at night and they're tired and they say, why? Because it takes more than that. People who are successful are willing to take risk. They're willing to take risk. They're willing to go and get the cheese and feed themselves and take the trades of the market and learn a system not knowing the exact outcome before they actually do it and trade it and learn it. They're willing to take risk. And people that are successful are willing to take risk. If you want to be successful, you have to decide how are you going to plan this success? How are you going to do it? Success requires a plan. Success also involves risk. Successful people don't spend time thinking why opportunity passes them by. Successful people meet their goals year after year. They exceed them. Not only do they meet them, they exceed them. People who take risk get rewarded in life because they are willing to take a chance. Success does not come without taking a risk and making an effort. If there was no risk involved, the reward would not be so great. If there wasn't a risk involved in trading in life, everyone would be successful. 
It's true. Everyone will be making six figures a year, but that's not. That's not the case. It's not the case in life. It's not the case in the market. And it's not because not a, people don't want to work hard because many people do. So why? What is it that sets successful people apart from regular people? Successful people are willing to take risks, not knowing the outcome. And not only that, they believe in themselves. They believe in themselves. They believe in their own ability to make the right decisions and the right choices. They know that they're going to be successful. They know that the essence of exactly who they are is someone that is successful. And they plan. They have a calculated risk. It's not crazy willy-nilly risk. It's called calculated risk. And that means a plan of action. Calculated risk in the form of a plan of action. What is your plan? How are you going to achieve the monetary goals you've set for yourself this year? Where do you want to be in the future? Taking the Golden Gap class is the first step to assist you in achieving the financial goals you have set for yourself and your family to trade the market, not just for this year, but for years to come. Someone said to me, well, how quickly can I make back the $2,500 for the class? And I'll go over the class cost and the dates in a minute. I said, you know what? You're thinking about the wrong thing. You shouldn't be thinking about how quickly it's going to take you to make that money back. You should be thinking about the fact that you're going to learn something here that works in the market, that you're going to be able to train for the rest of your life, for the rest of your existence, that you're going to be able to trade successfully and make money from the market in a way that your friends and your family cannot, that you're going to make not only $2,500 back, but way, way more. Don't be short-sighted. The market sees it. The, the market sees it. Remember, a class is an investment in yourself. It's an investment in yourself. You love yourself enough that you actually want to make something of yourself. You want to be successful. You want to make this kind of money, and you don't want to work really hard, and you want to work from home, and you're tired of being a slave to other people, and you want to be in control of your own life. The Golden Gap course will teach you a strategy that will help you sustain yourself in the market. It's about consistency. It's about longevity. And if you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results. Otherwise, you won't make it. You won't. You have to be consistent. And the Golden Gap course teaches you how to get consistent results in your trading. Know that if you want a life with personal freedom and a six-figure income, you need to make a plan. You can't just throw yourself into the market without a plan. It's about self-empowerment. So the class is a course that is a complete system to use to trade. I teach the targets in the class, the entries, the exits, the setups, and how to rate the gaps. The class is called the Golden Gap course. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Retakes are free. If you sign up for the class, you can do it whenever you want to. You can do the day one one weekend, do day two the other weekend. Retakes are free, and the class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. The class dates are this weekend, May 17th and 18th, 9 to 5. The cost is $2,400. I'm also doing a weekday class next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, which is going to be after the trading, 12 to 4 Monday, 12 to 5 Tuesday, and Wednesday for the people that work on the weekends or have family, things they have to do. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. I already have people registered. I only take a certain amount of people every class because otherwise I can't answer everyone's questions and I'll lose my voice if I'm talking until 9 o'clock at night. So I want to keep the class within the time frame of the hour schedule so I limit the number of people I take each course. So if you want to do it, Get in touch with me, and I'll send you the sign-up sheets. I also do a class called the Trends Course. This is June 10th and 11th from 12 to 4. This class is a course on how to read trends and stock charts. If you're a longer-term trader, this is a good class. If you want to do swing trades or overnight trades, this is a good class for this. It's above and beyond and on top of the gap class. The gap class teaches you directional bias and how to trade gaps, day trade, swing trade, and core trade. The trends class teaches you how to read longer term trends, which helps your day trading skills and it helps you and is vital if you're a swing or core trader. I'm running a special. You can do both classes and save $499 if you want to this month. I ran this special last month and it was very popular. So I'm running again this month now because it's earnings season, second quarter, and people want to learn as much as they can to trade right now and start making money. I, I, I've, I, I've, I'm ever, people take my class and want to start trading money immediately. They are so excited to trade. People are trying to set up their accounts to trade before they even take the class. You've got to take the class first. Just take it one step at a time. Take the class, learn it. You have all the time in the world to take my trades and calls in the room and, and get the system. It's, it's exciting to see people that they want to do it. It's exciting to see people that I'm teaching making money. It, this is the reason why I have such great students, and they're willing to talk to people because they're doing very well. It's, it's very rewarding. If you want to learn how to do this, you can contact me or give me a call or email me. 
Know that you can have the personal freedom that you want this year. It's not too late, but I will tell you, it's May. It's almost June. Half the year's over. If you've been training or in a job that's a dead-end job, you're trying to figure out something to do, half the year is gone. It's really hard to believe. And before you know it, it's going to be July 4th. So we're going to do the live market review here, and I'm going to answer some questions, and I'm going to look at Zoo for Trader XYZ. How many charts do you monitor at one time? I only look at one thing at a time. That's it. I only have two monitors. One, I have my live platform up. I'm in something. I have that there. And then I have the room. And then I have the other one where I'm looking at different things, but only one at a time. Do I research 26 points already before the market opens and check the short list in the first three minutes? What do you mean check the short list? I can check the short list way before the first three minutes. I check the short list when I roll out of bed. I check at the short list. Um, and yes, I do figure it out before the market opens. I start the room at 8 a.m. I'm like, get up at 6 o'clock in every morning. I look at stuff. You'll be available after the 24th. <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Does anyone have any other questions for me right now about the class? Anything I talked about in this webinar? Anything at all? We have a couple minutes here. If not, then Kathy's going to flip everyone over to my live trading room. If you have, is it Java, Kathy? You might get lost. But if you don't, I think you'll be fine. Here's my email. I don't monitor a lot of things at one time. I, there's just no reason to. I can flip and scan through stuff pretty quickly, though. But, you know, I, I, I'm just usually only in one trade at a time or two trades at a time. I'm not in a lot of things at a time, so that's why I don't have to really worry about it. All right, Kathy's going to bring everyone over to my room. I'm going to click this off. I'll see you over there. We're going to go over the market. I'm going to look at the zoo, and I'll answer any other questions over there. Thank you, everyone, for coming. If someone can't join, Kathy, just send them my email if you can. You're welcome. Thank you, Online Trader Central. Thanks, Tab. Lou, come over to the room.